everybody. Welcome to Soul to Soul. I am your host, medium Kelly Kristen. And as always, it's fabulous to be here with you tonight. I hope everyone's doing well. I am actually doing really well tonight. Um, you know, I feel like while we're waiting for a caller, I want to chat with you about something that I really love, and that is psychic detection. So um, I have this idea that if we could get together and have like a, a collaboration of psychics that worked on um, different cases and we each had our superpower, I think that would be fun because, you know, you'll see it in on social media or, or just like in the newspaper on the news that the police do not contact psychics, but I know for a fact that's not true. They do. Even the FBI works with psychics. But my idea is, what if we had um, a group and each person had like their own little superpower? So like, for instance, there's so many different ways that you can use psych your psychic abilities on um, cases. There is clairvoyance. So seeing, right? Being able to see uh, maybe past, present, future. You might see... Uh, where the victim is now. Um, you might see the suspect. Uh, there's just so many different things you can see. So that would be one way you could use your psychic abilities with psychic detection. Um, another way, uh, telepathy, getting in, in the brain or in the head of the victim or the, or the perpetrator. Um, there's numerology. So I mean, that's fascinating in itself, using dates, times, maybe the address uh, to come up with some sort of a, a timeline for the police. Uh, yeah. There is um, automatic writing and automatic writing, you know, generally we think about like writing things out like a sentence or, work, um, you know, a little uh, sentence. Um but it can also be uh, a picture, a, um, a street sign, a number, anything. And that kind of, that leads me to my next uh, psychic ability, which is not mine. I wish this were mine. Uh, um, psychic portrait artist. I wish I could do that, um, but I'm not good at it. But that would be, I think that actually could be a lot of validation for um, the police or working on a case. It could be a portrait of a perpetrator, someone they don't know, they weren't thinking about, or someone they were thinking about, and it could be validation. Um, so there's lots of different ways that we can use our psychic abilities um, for psychic detection. And um, if it sounds interesting to you, and I promise I wasn't plugging my class, but I do, I am offering a class next week um, that anybody's welcome to come to. Um, it's on Monday and Thursday, and we're going to be working on um, a, a cold case and uh, an, an, a current, I guess, not cold case, but current case. And the class is from 6 to 7.30 PST. Um, and if you're watching me right now, um, my uh, um, website address will go along the bottom, but it's mediumkellykristen.com. Uh, you can also sign up on Eventbrite or Humanitix under my name as well, Medium Kelly Kristen. Um, you don't need any experience, um, but if it sounds fun, I, I wish you would join me. And I'm glad we um, we got our caller fast. So, um, Maria, I missed it. Are you in Vancouver, British Columbia? Columbia? I am. I'm in Vancouver. Yes, I am. Are, very nice. I actually, that's where my family is from. So, Lovely. Be, yeah, beautiful. How are you this evening? I'm good. <laughs> good. Um, so what kind of, um, what were you looking for tonight? Were you looking for a psychic reading, um, mediumship? Do you have questions? What can I help you with? Uh, a psychic reading, actually. I'm just going to pull over. Just give me a second. Oh. I just got gas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I, I, let, just hang on. let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Just hang on a second. Just keep it safe yes. here. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm good. Um, yeah. Oh. I would love to know um, a little bit more about the reality that's going to unfold between uh, 
uh, me and the potentiality of selling my house and uncoupling uh, with my partner, who's been extremely oh. abusive. Okay. Um, all right. So how that's going to kind of all unfold, right? Mm hmm Okay. Oh, let me just fill into you a little bit. Um, it, it feels like, and I feel like you've already done this, but it feels like you are, you, um, need to face your true feelings, like speak your truth. And I feel like you are doing that, but it feels like it's almost like I want to take a breath and say, congratulations, you're finally doing this. Would you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So just being your authentic self and it feels almost like getting back to um, your true self, right? And who you really are. Um, I It feels very much like you have this powerhouse within you it's almost like you got on, you now that you're on i don't want to use a train as an analogy but now that you're on this train you're going to keep moving and you're not going to get off of it so it feels like you actually um i want to use the word courage but you actually are standing up for yourself and are ready to be in, independent would you understand that yes okay so all of that feels really good it also feels, and, and I'm sorry, I, I, I got off on a tangent there for a second, but you want to know how the potential sale of your home, is that what you said? Yeah, I just want to know, uh, um, I don't know if you have a timeline. Um, oh. You know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of passive aggressive stuff from this person and it's, it's, it's beyond um, ugly. I was actually sick with colitis up until February and I've managed to crack the code. And in March, the psychiatrist cracked the code and um, um, realized that my husband has been abusing me by putting me under the Mental Health Act at the hospital repeatedly since 2018. Oh gosh, okay. That just gave me the chills. So, so yeah, go ahead. so this is, this is, this is the, you know, this situation, you know, um, uh, initiated in 2011 uh, in July when uh, I decided not to be with somebody that came, you know, that was giving me an escape window. And I gave my loyalty to my husband, um, you know, too many times. And when I came back in July 2011, he told me if I ever tried to leave me, he would hunt me down and kill me in 2015. Uh, no, 2014, I was diagnosed with colitis in 2018. He managed to get me diagnosed uh, mentally ill. And then I couldn't believe it, to be honest. These guys parted in March. And uh, the psychiatrist said, I see every hospitalization is due to your husband. And then when he put me back in April, the, the psychiatrist from 2021 apologized to me. So I'm just, I, this is somebody who I, I honestly, I, I can only assume that, well, assume, I know that he had a lot of rancor towards his parents and it's been unleashed on myself. Now his parents have passed away. It's been a year, his mother's passed away a year now. And um, it just doesn't seem like this person is going to, you know, go easily into that dark night. Does that make any sense? Right. And leave yes. me alone. Uh because it doesn't yeah, matter what I agree to, it's not good enough. Every time I agree to something, he takes the opposite way. So I just I just wonder when this tyranny is going to be finally over. And short of me praying that he'll pass away, which is what I was doing last week, and I had to take myself out of that dark space and, you know, burn it with gold and light and blast, you know, the, you know, uh, blast the, the, the cords and, and heal the ancestry on both sides, which is lightened yeah, up yeah. for my reality at all. I'm just wondering if there's any indication as to when this is going to abide. All right. Whew. Um, I got a lot of chills when you were talking. And so um, for me, when I was giving you that analogy of being on the train, I feel like the train is in motion. It's moving forward. It's going actually rather fast. And I feel like this time you're not going to get off because I feel like in the past you may have started on this journey of separating and, and you know, step back or, or had health issues, right? So I feel like this yeah. is going to actually go rather quickly because I feel like you're actually stepping into your own truth and um, and realizing how important your self-worth is and um, being I see you actually being able to separate uh, now it almost feels like two sides um, uh, your past and then your future um, it it just feels like there's an with this end, this this big new beginning comes and i'm not going to lie i feel like this is going to be hard but i don't feel like it's going to be as hard as what you've already gone through 
it feels right. it feels very good for you um I do, I do, for some reason, um, I do feel like I want to mention, I hope you are, um, have con either are thinking about somehow contacting law enforcement. Have, I hope they're involved in some way. Um, I, I don't know why I want to say that, but not that I think anything bad's going to happen to you at all. That's not what I feel. I just feel like almost like protection. Like if you were to try to actually venture out on your own, possibly having, um, calling law enforcement to be with you. Would you understand? Would that make sense to you at all? Yeah, l law enforcement has been a total fail. When, when I got a protection order against my husband and I was told by the judge to to um, to uh, deliver it to the Burnaby RCMP, the uh, Burnaby RCMP victimized me again because of all the history. They actually made me homeless for the night, if you can believe that. I cannot believe and, that. And gave, him, and, and, gave, and gave him legal advice have the protection order removed. Actually, I have the text of the, of the shelter that they wanted me to go to. So, you know, uh, I, I continually ask myself, you know, uh, you know, what up? Because he managed, even with, with the, um, even with the medical report, uh, um, discharge report, report from the um, 21st of April, saying that they believe that my husband has been abused. They concur with the mental health clinician from December the 31st of 2021 that he's been abusing me by putting me under the Mental Health Act. It even goes so far as to say that my, quote, mental health issues are due to the abuse of my husband. The, the judge okay. still removed the emergency. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's what I'm feeling. And, and I'm please understand I cannot give you legal advice, right, or anything like that. But I just felt there was some component with, with law. Um, and then so... I, I feel like this is, you're you're moving on to bigger and brighter things. And I feel like you actually have the courage, everything you're just telling me from the tone in your voice to um, what you're telling me feels very good for you and positive for you. And believe it or not, this goes by so fast. We are out of time. I, I wish you the best of luck. Um, and I feel like there's a big new journey ahead for you. And I feel like you have the strength to do it. Okay. So with thank that, you so much. oh, thank you so much. Okay. And with that, everyone, I will see you next week. Thank you for tuning in. Good night. Good night.